Well, unemployment numbers are continuing to fall in Central Texas, and we just hit a new milestone. Connor Board joins us live in studio. Connor, Connor, for a lot of counties, the uh, current unemployment numbers are the lowest they've been since the pandemic began. Rob, it's really hard to believe that just a year or two ago, people were getting laid off and furloughed because of the pandemic, sending unemployment numbers soaring. Now businesses are working hard to hire on people and our unemployment numbers for the rural capital area are the lowest they've been since the pandemic started. The rural capital area consists of the nine counties surrounding Travis County. According to Workforce Solutions, the Workforce Solutions office there, the unemployment rate was 2.8% last month. That number has consistently been going down over the past few months, dropping from 3.4% in February. The last time that area saw 2.8% unemployment was back in February of 2020. The industries that continue to be recruiting the most people in Central Texas are manufacturing, healthcare, construction, and transportation. Many of these are considered to be middle skilled jobs where you need more than a high school degree, but less than a four year college degree. For instance, two year degrees and certification programs would fall into this category with more and more companies like Samsung and Tesla moving to the area. Manufacturing is an industry that the CEO of Workforce Solutions Rural Capital Area believes will keep growing here in Central Texas. Um, and that's going to be the, the type of job I think we see here in Central Texas for, for a long time to come. Um, and they're very good jobs, um, high paying. Um, they don't take a long time to get credentialed in. Um, and they all offer some type of career advancement within within the industry. Fletcher said that manufacturing has a lot of potential for career growth within a company. And he said if you can get your foot in the door and work your way up, many manufacturing jobs can make over $100,000 a year. And according to the Texas Workforce Commission, the top industries where people are currently filing for unemployment are temporary help services, school and employee bus transportation, food service contractors, oil and gas pipeline construction, and full service restaurants. And the industry that saw the biggest increase in employment the past month was hospitality. The CEO says that this is due to the summer season, hotels and restaurants seen a comeback as COVID has improved, and the flexibility of hours and days Days the hospitality allows for Rob like to see a lot more hospitality yeah Connor thank you very much reporting live in Super Force